Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good, and we are here to reheat Grand Arena once again. Three times a week for three weeks out of every four weeks, we reheat Grand Arena, and we can choose to not reheat certain aspects of Grand Arena as we ch as we so choose to reheat and and. Uh, Big misplay. Uh, let's go. Okay, so Nooch Two Punch up against Cromwell. I don't feel like looking at mods. Uh, I'm just at this point now. We're always punching up three <laughs> three capital ships, eight Galactic Legends. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's just go. Let's just. All right, let me look at one set of mods. Let's look at Piet's mods and see what it's like. He's not very fast. So the fact that Piet is very slow is a pretty good indicator that his mods are not very good. Let's take one more look here. Who's his fastest non-GL? Commander Ahsoka is at 359. That's not so bad, but I'll bet it tapers off for now. Eh, maybe not. Pina Madala's in there. She's okay. So his mods are all right. But, so, but my mods are all right, too, you know? So does he have any Datacrons? All right, let's go. Let's reheat this, this bad boy. He's got the Starkiller Cron, which I've heard can be dangerous. We'll see if he put it on defense. I don't see it. I do see Ray and Jabba and Dark Trooper Moff Gideon and Zori and Queen Amidala with Cam. Again, I think that's a mistake. And Jedi Knight Anakin. All right. And then up here, we got Lord Vader, Ray, Palpatine, Mara, and what is that? It doesn't even have like unlined for what is that? Where's you got the Star Killer Cron? Who's this dude using Star Killer with? I don't know if I can clear these two front walls. We're going for the bottom wall because this worth more than this. Let's go. All right, for Jabba we'll use Kylo. Let's just do it. We'll check that data crown to make sure nothing weird is going on, which I don't think there could be. Remember they're evaded? <laughs> this is just nothing. It's just absolutely nothing. We'll throw our own little data crown on here. Um, I'm going to go with... Remember they resisted? Let's find a different one here. I'm trying to find one that's... Again, we don't get any gain turn meter. I know I've got one that says... That. Evasion up, health steal up, and health up. Let's go with that. And defense. If I really need it. Turn meter. Resisting a debuff. Defense. And let's go with let's go with this one. Defense, resistance. Let's go with all this stuff. I don't care about that. They're not gonna be resisting debuffs. And let's go. My Kylo's faster than his Java. I don't think that's abnormal though. Just gotta get that one Hux turn out. Right there. There we go. No, can't get off of Kersantan yet. There it is. Pretty annoying that clearing those buffs ends up just feeding them more buffs. I, really annoying, actually. Let's do it this way. Maybe should have took a swing to to load up my ult, but... I don't think in the long run it's going to matter too much. Take, ah, I should have hit Leia with that. Let her with this. No, I, I I think I think we're okay. It just never. You always worry, man. But I don't see an alt over there getting loaded. Let's just smack her. She doesn't have a debuff, so I can't taunt. There we go. That should take care of her. No, not quite. Back over to Kylo. Sweep her again while I can get the double on the person. Yep, there we go. Non Galactic Legends get more siph get more mastery siphoned. Um, exclude rage bosses and Galactic Legends. So. I get their mastery and my mastery when I siphon non-galactic legends. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one punch here before I go to my ult. And now we go to ult. Okay. Still love Kylo, man. He's so good. So good. So now what happens is when I do this, I only siphon my own siphon, the 340. I don't get you I don't. I only siphon from my own mastery. I don't siphon from Jabba's mastery at all. I think this will do it. I'm just gonna do stab. Yeah, there we go. All right, Jabba down, and let's go. We'll see. 
The one battle I saw was against a non-Datacron team, but this is kind of like a non-grade. They, they're getting speed up. That's the one thing that could injure me over there is that speed up. But I've got to... Okay, I can't isolate her. But I can get the cooldown slower on Darth Nihilus. Okay. Yeah. We just whittle her away, which I'm not whittling very well here. Smack her. Okay. I gotta get her down and then get my Annihilate when I don't have the uh, the Handmaiden out. There we go. But I'm, I'm not close enough to Annihilate yet. I don't actually want to kill her yet. Ugh, that's too soon. Did I use this last time? I feel like I used this last time, too. This this was... So, a non... Um, I think with the Poncho Bros, this doesn't... This Trio team doesn't work. Now I'm remembering that I think I used this last time. And now I think we'll be in a, in a position where if we get that Handmaiden down... I'm going to keep reducing his cooldowns. And now I think if I can get a good shot with... with um, I'll have Annihilate available for it, and we're gonna get rid of Queen Amidala first. See, nobody's doing any damage to us, is the thing. There's no damage over there. I know Jedi Knight Anakin is there, but it doesn't matter because without um, Galactic Republic Jedi, there's not all Galactic Republic Jedi here, so he doesn't double his damage. Okay, we gotta get her out, and now I need Nihilus to get a turn before we get a Handmaiden again. That's a problem. We got it! I gotta do cam. That's fine. I wanted to get the queen out, but it is what it is. There's no handmaiden yet, so if I can get another turn from Savage. Oh, he went all. He refilled everything! He refilled everything there. Ah! Annoying. It's just gonna take a minute. This'll work. This is. It's turning into almost like a proven counter at this point. Again, I don't think... I, I do not believe this works if you've got the Poncho Bros. I don't know why people are not putting the Poncho Bros. Like, have you... You've relicked up Queen Amidala, but not Master Qui-Gon... But not Master Qui-Gon and Padawan Obi-Wan? That doesn't make any sense to me. That does work. Okay, good. I know it works against the temporary damage ability. I wasn't sure if it worked against the permanent ones, so there we go. All right. Now I've got teams for up above. However, this looks a little dangerous. Evasion up, hell steal up. See, that's actually good for Boba Fett's rocket. So I need to hit him when they have um, less than 50% turn meter. So she's under 50% turn meter. She's going down. There we go. Do I have my rocket back yet? I don't think so. I do. She's under 50% turn meter. There we go. Valen Skull here. Night Sisters against uh, Zori. They don't have the, the turn meter cron. Then we'll see what's in back. Yeah, it was a, just a, a mousing. Gideon down. That's a good thing. He didn't have a... Uh, he had no Omicron on this. I didn't notice that. I'm not sure I could have... I don't know. Maybe I could have found something because he had no Omicron. I got to start paying attention to stuff like that. Although, it's tough. I don't have a lot of those in-between teams. Like, honestly, I would have rather used like a Sith Eternal here. Um, than my Balin Skull, but I don't have Sith Eternals. So, in the new years, I get those those more Galactic Legends unlocked, and I get more tools on my roster to give me more opportunities here. We'll get Bo-Katan in the, in the new year. Um, we'll get lots of stuff. So, we're going Night Sisters here. We're saving a bunch of our teams. I'm going to stun you. Okay. We got lots of plague out there. There it is. God bless it! Look at that garbage! Complete and utter garbage right there. This'll do it. There he goes. Auto. Alright, there we go. Golly, it just almost takes Maul down. Now he's gone. This is almost... Just kill him. Thank you. And take her out. All right. Good to go. Yeah, last time I got to... I, I used the pull out of the sky, which almost never happens. 
This is okay, here's the deal against Malgus, and this is the problem I run into a lot. You guys know this. I'm just short one or two teams on offense or more sometimes, but just his roster is so much bigger than mine. We're punched up so much. We're just short of teams. We make our defense thick to prevent them from doing anything. He does not have a Datacron on there. His mods are just okay. He's got an offense set on Darth Revan, which makes him slower. Um, I don't know what Basilisk speed is at. She's at 289. These guys aren't fast. Um, Darth Malgus is modded for tenacity, defense, health, but he's not super fast. So I looked it up in stvgh.gg. This is this is one for two. Two people have done it. One of them won it. And with the with the Gideon Cron in here, so what I'm hoping to do is not you. Sorry. Whoa. It's really my only shot. I have nothing. I have nothing else to even try to beat Malgus with. Well, I got no assist there. So okay, we got it. Something about the data crown loads it faster. I didn't look. Can this be evaded if I'm blind? Oh, that's not the right thing. Here we go. Come on, you just to work. Ugh, it's not gonna work. He's gonna die. I see how it could work. Maybe if you got more speed on there and they have no speed, but I I can't beat this team now. See, I'll be I should be able to stun her now, right? Yeah. And so then she just dies. Then we remove his turn meter, right? Yep. Go to whistling birds. Ooh, revive. I wasn't thinking of that. I didn't, I did I literally didn't think about that. Okay, we're good. All right. That was easy. I don't know why that team's out there. I don't know why this would or wouldn't work. I honestly don't know, but we're going to try it. Well, uh, I guess I have no speed on this team, and that's problematic. I should have done the middle there and assisted with my Death Trooper. Captain Enoch's going down. I should have just targeted Afra, probably. I don't even know. I never face Afra. We're trying things at this point. Well, I'm at nine stacks, so he's pretty much dead. He's died nine times already. That's it. I, I literally, I it's probably been four, five, six months since I faced Afra on defense. Just it, it's frustrating, but I'm I'm trying just to learn to just just deal with the fact that this this is how life this is life now. This is life. If Chupi ever gets a turn. Alright. Reheated Grand Arena, everybody. I should... <laughs> I, you know what? I need to make a limited power one. I'll do that. I, I need... Dude, 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 dude. Oh my god. Pay attention. Alright, die. There we go. Okay, that's one. That might wrap us up. I'm not sure I got anything else left here. I didn't get a daze on Nisa. That's freaking awesome. This is one of the coolest scenes, by the way, with the ad at in the background. And by the way, we're on Endor fighting Ewoks, so there's something real about that. There we go. Jeez. Jeez. More like Princess Thicka. My, my lack of caring is, is very apparent right now. Sure. So at least he's got rid of that. Uh, I really don't have anything left. Uh, I use Veers or somewhere else, so Piet doesn't really do me much good. I got Fennec. I could try Geos, but that's it. That's it. We're done. We're just out of teams at this point. I got nothing for him. Everybody, hey, thanks for tuning in to Grand Arena once again. Thanks for allowing me to reheat Grand Arena for you. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you soon. Always remember, nooch too good.